Walter Robertson. This guy dated a woman for 30 some years. He was kind of a strange bird. He had asked this lady to marry him, his girlfriend, for all these years, and and she wouldn't marry him. They still dated. And her mom and dad finally had passed away and she didn't have to take care of them. And so he went and asked her again, Will you marry me? She said, Yes, I will marry you. So he goes home and he starts thinking about it. And this is on his own account. He said that he just worked himself into a rage that, you know, he could have had, they could have had kids, they could have had a family, they could have, you know, all this wasted 35 years. And so he went back to her house and beat her to death with the club, beat her in the head. It was like the her. same day, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Just hours later, beat her to death. He said he was crazy. They had three doctors check him. He said, he's fine. So he said, well, he said, I can't go to trial for this. I'm ashamed of what I did. And so he cut up his bed sheet and flipped it up there and he died in that room. So if we ask you a question, you can go close to that device and make it beep if the answer is yes. Hey, Walter. My name's Chris. Did you have some lemon problems? Yes. Okay, great. Go ahead and shut it off, please. Walter, do me a favor. I'm going to count to three. Oh, okay, thanks. Why'd you do it? Sixty-year-old man, no children, no family, must have been really upsetting for you to have wasted all that time. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I'm going to ask you to turn that off when I say three, just to establish you can hear us. Okay? We, we know you're here, but a lot of people don't believe that you exist. So we ask that you turn that off or turn it on on a certain number, not because we're being demanding, but because we want to establish intelligent communication. They all kind of funkiness going on. No idea. No button being pushed. I know. I'm, I know. So anytime you feel like turning that beeping sound on again, go ahead and do it. And then I'll count to three and we'll have you shut it off right when I get to three. Thank you. Here we go. One, two, three. Yeah, it's not helping. Go ahead and shut off, please. Walter, you hung yourself in your cell. Did you really feel that desperate? Did you feel ashamed? Hey, um... Sorry to talk over you. Sarah, right near, I saw with my own eyes a light of some kind up 
near above where Sarah's standing. Look at that. Was that you? Did I just see you? Did I just see you? I'm gonna count to four. Okay, it was like right here. And it was almost like the size of this. So it was almost the size of the, the green line on the K2. Right. It was about six to 12 inches away from Sarah's head and it was just kind of like this, and it was bright white. And then it just sort of- I just felt a sadness when you guys were talking about when he hung himself. Oh, he was correct. I just got the chills. I did too. I felt the chills the same time you said like that. My, my skin is crawling. Yep, yeah. it's all the way down my yeah, spine right crawling. now. Yeah. Hey, Walter, turn that off for me, please. Walter, turn that off for me, please. Let's talk some more. I'm gonna get in the cell across from your cell again. Thanks, Walter. Can you turn that off for us? Come on, Walter. I want to learn more about how you were feeling. Can you turn it off on three? One. I want to learn more about how you were feeling. Can you turn it off on three? One. Did you feel shame? I just felt a wave of charge. I just felt a wave of charge. Static charge in my body. Walter. I got K2 activity. I saw that flickering mm -hmm. against the wall. K2 activity. My hand was completely motion motionless at the time. Walter, in my hand there's a green light. That's another device that just by going near, you can answer our questions or show us that you're here. Let me ask you this. We keep asking you questions about how you felt or why you killed your, the love of your life. Just got a blip on the K2 when I said that. <clears throat> but you told the police that you didn't know why you did it. Is that true? Just got blips on the K2. Is that true? Just got blips on the K2 when I said, is that true? Did you see that? Mm, I see it. It's just going up to the second green light, but it's intelligently, seems to be intelligently responding. Okay, there's another one. Walter, if that's you, you could, whoa, there we go to the third light. And the Mel. And the Mel. Yes, I see it. I hear it. Thank you, thank you, Walter. Thank you, Walter, for communicating with us. Hey, Walter, the lights on this thing, you just made it go up to the third light. So there's, yeah, there's green, then there's another green, then there's an orange, and then there's another orange, and then there is a red light. I'd love to see you push this all the way up to the last light, which is red. Keep getting hits on the K2. Whoa, red! You see that? Yep. Thanks, Walter. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. That helps us. Are you on the top bunk? Are you on the top bunk? Are you standing right in front of me? Hey, Walter, I heard a pretty funny story about you. I heard that you would you would tell your your girlfriend that you could move rocks with your mind. And then at nighttime when she was asleep, you would sneak over to her house and move those rocks with your hands. And the next day, try to convince her that you move those rocks with your mind. Is that story true? Walter, that makes me laugh. Red lights, red lights on that, it's intelligent. Very, it's very funny. It's very funny. Walter, that sounds exactly like something I would do. 
If you want us to leave, can you make those lights light up again or make that device in the hallway beep again? Walter, do you like that we're here? Walter, do you like that we're here? Your car outside. What the hell was that? I don't know. Let's take a lap. Anybody over here? Anybody over here? Uh, what's up? Um, I'm getting some K2 and just felt the cobble and put it in my elbow. There's no cobwebs at all on my elbow. Your hairs are standing up. Yeah, they are. I walked right into a K2 hit and I fell on my elbow. How are you guys doing? Are you talking? Oh, he's radioing. Yeah. Is that you that smells good? Like I keep smelling a detergent. Oh, he's radioing. Yeah. Is that you that smells good? Like I keep smelling a detergent. Kind of. I don't know. You tell me. 